what are the risks and complications of IVF? People are very worried when they do an IVF cycle because they're so worried about the medical risks and complications. Part of it is all the secondhand information which they've been fed by so many other people who really don't have a clue about what is involved with IVF. And sometimes this misinformation can even come from doctors and other gynecologists who don't really know anything about IVF at all. Thus, they scare the patient off. They tell the patient, oh, the doctor will pump you full of hormones. You'll have to take injections every day. These injections are extremely painful. These injections will cause you to put on weight or will cause ovarian cancer or breast cancer or cause you to become menopausal, all kinds of things, all of which are false. The reality is that from a medical point of view, IVF is extremely safe treatment if you do it at a good clinic. And the reason is that with IVF, the hormonal injections we give you are all natural hormones, the same hormones your body normally produces. And the reason we give them is we're trying to save the eggs, which you grow every month, which would otherwise have died in any case. So please remember, you don't need to worry about any medical risks of IVF. You don't need to worry and your baby doesn't need to worry either because IVF babies are completely normal and natural. These pregnancies are exactly like any other pregnancy. I understand, of course, that any baby could have a birth defect and IVF doesn't reduce that risk of birth defect. But please remember, it doesn't increase it either. Risks, of course, are there with any particular procedure, including IVF. And these risks include things like ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome or the risk of having an ectopic pregnancy or the risk of having a miscarriage or the risk of multiple pregnancies. Some of these risks can definitely be reduced if you go to a good IVF clinic. And that's why it's so important that you be picky and choosy, do your homework and ask all the right questions before selecting a clinic. Because if you go to a bad clinic, your risk of having complications will be far higher than if you go to a good clinic. I think you also need to remember that one of the biggest risks of IVF is the risk of failure, which means even after spending all that time and money and energy and all that hope, your cycle may still fail, no matter how good the quality of medical treatment was. Something you need to be prepared for. You need to have realistic expectations. You need to understand that sometimes it takes time for IVF to actually succeed. And you can't hurry certain things up because these are biological processes. As long as you go into it with your eyes wide open, you'll be fine and you won't go to pieces. But please don't let all these myths and misconceptions worry you. One of the other risks, of course, is the financial risk and that's often something which is not openly discussed but the fact is that IVF is expensive treatment and that even after spending all that money you may have nothing to show for it and you need to be prepared up front. The best way to be prepared is to do your homework, find out as much as you can about IVF and make sure you ask good questions to your doctor before selecting an IVF clinic and I'm happy to help you. I'm Dr. Malpani, I'm an IVF specialist. I've been doing IVF for over 30 years now. And I'm happy to offer you a free second opinion on our website, which is www.drmalpani.com. Ask me your questions and I'll be happy to answer them for you.